Good afternoon, everybody. All right, we're going to be talking today about the dragon fruit. Don't mind if you hear the chickens behind me. They're going to be talking the entire time I'm out here, I'm sure. <clears throat> All right, so dragon fruit. What is dragon fruit? So dragon fruit is a vining jungle cactus. Okay, so it propagates just like any other cactus. You just break off one of these pieces, one of these little spears, you stick it in the dirt, basically any kind of dirt, and it'll grow. <clears throat> and what's nice about this plant is it'll also climb, so you can add it in your collection of vining things, along with passion fruit and kiwi and grapes, okay? So they like to climb via a couple different ways, so you can either, either lash them to something like I've got it kind of lashed to this tree or a trellis of some sort um, but what he'll also do is he grows his own supports here so did you see these little little aerial roots here so he grows those out when he's when he senses he's by something and then he can grab onto rough surfaces like trees so see he's got these little air roots here grabbing onto this pine tree well I chose this one on purpose because it's got this really rough bark it's got all these little nooks and crannies that he can grab onto. Now I've also noticed that if he starts getting too heavy or too high up, like he goes quite a bit up now, but he was up, he used to be up all the way to those lower branches. So that's about, that's almost 20 feet, okay? That he climbs up there. Well, he gets too heavy or you get a monsoon or a wind and it blows them off again. And they kind of droop over here like this, right? When he starts getting too heavy. And so, um, I've got several varieties here around this tree. Every time somebody gives me a piece, I just plant it at the base of this tree. So let me go around here to the side, see this a lot better. So see, I just take these chunks every time, just stick them in the ground, and they grow from there. Okay, now these cactus even though they're a cactus they do not like full sun do not put these in the full sun because you will scorch them these guys like dappled sunlight or even full shade they'll grow in the dark just fine I've got several here on the property this one gets morning sun and this is one of the older ones that I have out here so all the little pieces that have broken off I've just kind of stuck them back down in here stuck them around other places on the property here to try to grow them and there's lots of varieties of these. So there's white ones and pink ones and dark red ones and yellow ones, which are supposedly the sweetest. Um, I have not tried the yellow ones, so I'm not quite sure if that's the case, but very, very easy to grow as long as you pick your spot accordingly. Okay, so you can grow these basically under any tree. So I'm gonna go to the back here and we'll look at a couple more. Okay, so here's a few more, and I put these in several months ago, and they're already growing quite well. So I have this growing up the guest house front wall. So what I did is I just took a bed spring. This is actually planted behind the rainbow eucalyptus, so I've got a bed spring, and then I bent it so it was arched away from the wall if you guys can see that. That way the cactus could kind of weave in and out of the rungs. And also, when it gets time to fruit, each one of these little supports will be able to hold these fruits, because you see how big these fruits are in comparison to the cactus that it grows on. So it's gonna need something to support it, okay? So yeah, these are just planted down in here, heavily mulched and heavily watered down with this rainbow eucalyptus right here okay so now let's go look at one more okay so now we're back here in the avocado garden <laughs> basically so this was the um my old garden bed that i have since turned into an avocado bed so now these trees will reside in here and this is under a canopy so this gets a little bit of filtered light, but this dragon fruit's towards the back. So this one I have growing in this little well that I built. 
and then he is growing up this metal bar, this little trellis piece of artwork and whatnot, you want to call it, in the back here. So eventually it'll grow, completely fill that, and then grow up through all the metal parts and then flop over, and then the fruit will hang down here for you to pick up. So now that we've kind of gone over the cactus a little bit, Let's go inside and cut this thing open and see what it looks like inside so you guys can see what a delicious dragon fruit looks like. All right, guys, we are back up front. And look at that. That is a beauty. Isn't that a beautiful fruit? Wow, that is pretty. So normally the way I would cut this is you can cut it like this, obviously, just slice it in half and then you take a spoon and dig it out and eat it um, as a nice tasty treat. What I would normally do is I would normally just slit the skin and I would just peel the whole skin off and then cut it into slices. That's how I like to eat it. But um, I wanted to show you how it's usually displayed on a plate. I mean, that's just a gorgeous, cool fruit to have on a cocktail dinner plate, whatnot. And it's delicious, guys. I mean, to me, it tastes like a kiwi mixed with cactus. I mean, basically that's how I would describe the white one anyway. Um, everyone's taste is different, obviously, so everybody's gonna say a different different flavor that they taste this fruit as. But it's a beautiful fruit. It's a very, very easy to grow, very, very easy to grow cactus. And everybody should have one. Spread the joy of these dragon fruit guys because these are very, very neat an awesome fruit to eat. And somebody asked me about foliar feeding on these, so <clears throat> foliar feeding it, I don't think that it really does any good as far as the cactus is concerned, because it's waxy. I mean, it's not, it's waxy on the outside. It's not gonna absorb it anyway. But the caveat is, is these air roots. So these air roots will absorb it, absorb the foliar feed. So if you've got the air roots already growing, that's the area that I would concentrate the foliar feed on because that's, that's what that's meant to do is collect water and nutrients out of the air. <clears throat> okay, so you can't beat that as far as the feeding goes. But I mean, of course I put a little bit of compost on these just like everything else around here because I wanna keep it looking great and healthy and healthy plants can get through these tortured times of hot weather. So, all right guys, I know it was a little bit of a long one, but hope you enjoyed. Post any questions below. Thanks for watching.